Hey everyone, and welcome back to our Let's Play for Alea Yakta S. This is episode, it must be five today, I think. And the last time around, we definitely starting to, we basically got mostly control of the most of Italy now. Um, we actually like locked in this force um, up here, this last Optimates force, and we're slowly whittling it down. So definitely sort of on the, in the in their final days in Italy, which is good. So she finished all of our movements and stuff last turn around. So she's going to end the turn now and jump into a new turn. Should have a bit of fun next turn. Um, we have some a couple of legions in Epirus, which should be quite a lot of fun. We can just play around with those, see what's happening around there, and hopefully cause a little bit of chaos and damage. Also going to open up the Numidian Theatre in the next turn, so that should be a bit of fun as well. We can play around down in the Numidian Theatre while we clean up the um, Italian... while we clean up the Italian Theatre and consolidate our control and all that kind of stuff, so... Should be good. <clears throat> All right, here, see what happens at this turn. Cool, another battle up in Arimnum. It looks like they're actually starting to flee. We're still destroying some more of their units. So they're obviously getting down to like, you know, down to bare bones and we're destroying, starting to destroy some of those units. Our assault in Croton went quite well. We won that battle. Um, we only lost 1,400. They lost 7,000, which is good. Destroyed a bunch of their units there as well. Um, the, the Legion actually is in here. I was right. So there's the Legionary cohorts there and the Legatus there. Um, so that's good. So we've actually boxed that Legion in there, which is good. So... Hopefully they can destroy that one there. They actually took taken that city as well, which is good. So hopefully that legion's been destroyed now, which will be absolutely fantastic if that is the case. And if that is the case, then Italy's pretty much ours, which is awesome. Good news. All right, jump through the events once it pops up. There we go. Cool. All righty. So what do we got up here? We've got a legion up here, um, almost destroyed. And I think we actually destroyed this army up here by the looks of it. I can't see it anymore, so just quite, quite interesting. All right, we're going to run through the events here. What else have we got here? Captured and Impedimentia unit, which is a supply unit. We're going to put them into which one? Probably into this force there. Um, what else have we got? Captured and Prisoners gained another two national morale. Um, we got Captured Croton, which is awesome. So that's good. We've now got control of Croton, which is really, really good. So we put him back down to defense, get the cohesion and back, make sure that's all okay. Now I have control of Croton, which is awesome. So I've actually got control of most of Southern Italy now, which we're gonna start working our way up this way. We're gonna to go to Metapontum there, which is going to assault that, and we're gonna jump up into Nola up there, and this is a slave city. So I'm gonna put our guys back onto um, assault, so we move up to Metapontum and then up to um, Nola up there. Maris forced arrived in Arimnum. Um, Optimate succeeded in retreating. New seniority for a few of our um, our generals. So I don't think we can actually promote in this scenario. No, we can't. So we can't actually promote um, our leader. Although if we bring him out, can we do it then? Don't think so. No. All right. Cool. So we can't actually promote um, units in this in this episode, which is fine. This scenario, it's not a problem. Popularis has sent an expeditionary course core against Mithridates, which has just landed in Epirus. So here we go. So we've got our new um, our expeditionary core here. So a Pontic army there. So we've actually got two full legions here under Flaccus and Fimbria. So Flaccus is a 312 commander and Fimbria is a 543. So we've quite a good commander there. Um, and Fimbria has a lot of good um, traits here. He's corrupt, which is not amazing. He's also is a good subordinate and is tactically decisive. So that is quite good. Flaccus is indifferent, which is a bit of a rubbish commander. Um, yep, absolutely not in his men. This commander is absolutely not in his men. Doesn't really make sense, does it? Um, minus 10 maximum cohesion to the stack if commander. Mm, yes, that's not amazing. Anyway, that's okay. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. <coughs> Cough into the mic. Um, yes, yeah, so we have two Italian legions here, which is good. So, um, 12,000 men, 694, 700 combat power, which is awesome. So... What I think we may actually do is, rather than sort of just sitting here for the moment, um, actually, no, we're, we're just going to sit here for the moment. We actually may just sit here. Um, obviously, we've got this Pontic army here. 
the force is actually not um, active now anyway, so that's that's okay. We don't really want to get into offensive ap operations while that is the case. We actually can't move into any of these provinces anyway because we're still actually sort of like zone of control blocked. So we have to do something about this province here. So we're just going to sit here for a little while. Um, we should be fine for supply and all that kind of stuff. So should leave that force there. What else have we got here? Um, drought in Italia, so minus 100 supply value. So that's okay. I have to be aware of that. Make sure we don't run into supply problems anywhere. And yeah, that's all good. So now we're going for loyalty in Roma. So now it's up to 6040, which is good. So this legion can actually move off somewhere else. So I'm thinking potentially we actually move this guy up into, actually, no, we're not. We should move this one down. Um, no, not there either. Um, where are we going to move it to? I think I move it up to here into this Marius Junior um, Commander. So it should link up there. It should take 15 days. So link it up to there, uh, which is good. Yep, there we go. Cool. Alrighty, so I think we're going to move Cinna back down into Ancona again. If we get rid of those ballistae there, and that should be better. So that's four days. Yep, cool. So we move those guys back down into there. Still can't breach um, or assault Ancona, which is a bit disappointing. Same with Ariminum. So that's just the way it is. Um, yep, cool. Alright, we're going to just do that. Actually, no, we're going to actually change my mind. We're going to leave Cinna here. It's pretty we don't actually have a commander with the assault. Um, Ability, which would have been really, really good. Yeah, he doesn't. Just gonna double check that he don't. I'm pretty sure that we don't, because assault means you can actually assault a um, city without actually having all the breaches done yet. So that's okay. We just have to be patient, 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 patient. So that's all the moves we want to do in Italy, which is good. Um, how about in Hispania? Everything's pretty much fine. Lusitania is being pretty docile, so that's pretty much happy just to sort of stick where we are. So that's good. What we are going to do this turn, we actually jump into the events and we actually are going to open the Numidian campaign. So cost us 100 denarii and 20 engagement points, but it gives us option. We'll bring the Herbus leader and seven units in Hippo Regius and opens the whole of Numidia for war at the cost of some EP and money. So we're going to do that. So Hippo Regius, which is, where's that? Um, Let's move over here. So either oh, Hippo Regis there into there. So what we're going to do is move our um, our main army over here, and then next turn we actually move them back into Numidia. Well, start moving them into Numidia. So I think hopefully we're going to have enough to actually take on Numidia. I'm not really quite sure what in terms of what forces they've got. So um, yeah, so it should be interesting. Bit of an extra fun theatre. Should jump into replacements. See if we need anything here. Um, going okay for line infantry. Going to leave that there. Everything else is fine. Socii forces are fine too. That's good. So there's nothing to worry about there. No reinforcements, no political options that we want to take there either. Um, objectives. So the optimates are actually down to 97 um, combat strengths. We're actually stronger than them. Although given they've got so many um, casualties, I'm guessing a lot of their units can actually like be regenerated. So I'm assuming that number is actually going to come back up again. So I'm not sort of, you know, dancing on the streets yet. Um, yeah. So how is Sulla going over here? Looks like it's starting to make a little bit more progress, taking a little bit more of this area back. Um, obviously, still like a lot of Pontic forces in this area, though. So, yep. So, it's still going to be a little bit while before we actually come back up into Italy and do any damage. Cool. All right. Next turn, guys. Keep going along the turns. Keep showing through the turns, plowing through the turns, whatever you want to call it. Whatever term you want to use, it feel free. All righty, turn, turn, turn coming up. See how we go this time around. Our forces moving around, which is good. A bit of an, a, a battle coming over here, which is good. We've won. Um, even though really, we did actually lose more men, we did lose a legionary cohort, so they actually lost for um, six cavalry uh, chariot, heavy ch um, heavy chariot units there, which is interesting. So that's quite good. We won that victory. So actually, they've gone away, which is quite good. So 
Um, we're assaulting Metapontum, and we completely destroyed the garrison there. We lost 2,000 men, but they lost 4,800, which is good, so they are taking control of Metapontum. Battle coming over here. First time, looks like their first time they've actually brought their main army out, which is good, so... And we actually absolutely smashed them. Look, look, look at that. Love it. Brilliant. So, basically the same amount of numbers. We lost 4,200 men. They lost 10,000, 10,500 10, men, and we actually destroyed a whole bunch of their units there, so... Eight warriors, one archers, one swordsman, and one javelinman. So at the cost of one auxiliary for us. So that was a big, big victory for us. That is really, really good. Um, absolutely awesome. Happy with that. So that was a nice big victory for us. So finally brought most of their army down, and we did them a big defeat. So actually pretty happy with how Hispania has gone. I actually played this like scenario one, once. I think only once before on the like the popularis faction, and actually got absolutely hammered in Hispania. So Lusitania was definitely a lot more aggressive than what they're being in this episode. So obviously it does sort of, you know, differ from different um, episodes and all that kind of stuff, so. It's good. A bunch of our legionary cohorts have been trained, so that's good. Um, how's this army looking here? So talk a few losses here and there. Nothing too bad, though. Um, now besieging this city of Apollonia. I think what I'm actually going to do... I think I'm actually going to move up to Darachium, although can I? No, I can't. No, I actually can't because I haven't got any zone of control. So what I am going to do is actually put, switch these guys. Actually, no, I can't. He's not active. Damn. All right. All right. Ignore that plan. Should leave him there. He's not going to touch him, so that's fine. Um, what are we going? Lusitania still besieging this city, but can't really do anything. Inflicted 15 hits during our um, siege of Ariminum, so that's good. Not really making any terms of progress in terms of fortifications, but that's okay. So we've got the remainder of that army boxed up in aluminum, so that's good. So just gonna leave our armies there, keep doing some hits and all that kind of stuff. So what else have we got here? Upkeep, use some money. Pontus retreated. Um, it's blocked by any enemy position, so it couldn't move any further, which is fine. So took a few hits there and there. They're pretty much still going okay. So we actually are going to move up here into this slave city now. And given this command is active, we're going to switch this guy over to um, offensive posture and sustained attack. So if there's any sort of slave armies here, we can now take that. So definitely getting control of southern Italy done, which is nice. We've got a legion up here. It's not really too worried about those though. Um, they can you know, not really can't really do a whole lot of damage to us. So Africa Manus um, has arrived over here. And it looks like the Numidian Theatre is now open, which is really, really good. So we've got actually control of a few cities there, so that is quite cool. So we're going to look at this area a little bit more closely a little bit later. Um, what else have we got? We won a battle against Pontus. Optimus succeeded in retreating. Um, what else have we got? Got some prisoners. Gain control of Metapontum. Gain the control. Uh, we had a battle here, which is awesome. Took a whole bunch of um, unit or a whole bunch of prisoners. Legion has arrived over here, so not really two big strong armies here, about 22,000, so that's quite good. Still going okay in terms of supply, so we'll probably have to wait for another turn or two before we run into any supply problems. Although what you can do is you can take both of these supply units out, um, out of this army. And where's a good supply? Actually move them up to Bononia, Bononia up here. And once they get there, we're actually going to say enter structure, so... Um, once they get there, they'll enter the structure, replenish, and then hopefully turn after we can actually sort of bring them back and give a bit more supply. So that's a good trick you can actually do to actually take your supply units out, um, actually send them off to a city and actually get their supplies back and then bring them back to your army. So a little bit of a trick there. What else have we got? Constructed some ballistae over here, which is fine. Not worried about that. A few new um, promotions or seniority for some of our um, units. Gain control of some of these Numidian um, factions here. Usurper Herbus, um, Herbus, Hi Herbus, Hybris, I don't know. Um, supported by the Popularis, attempts to seize power in Numidia. The war expands. Attack on the Bosphorus. Uh, Mithridates needing more troops to fight the Romans. Um, he must re must draw from the Indarisons of the north. This creates a growing opportunity for the Sarmatian nomads living nearby the Pontic territories of the Bosphorus, which would love to lay their hands on the rich Pontic trading posts. So it doesn't really have anything to do with us. Just fine and cool. So, right, so that's all the events and stuff. So jump into replacements, see if we need anything before we spend our money. Do need a whole bunch of hits um, still missing from legions, so we can actually recruit up another three line infantry there. Also one more light infantry, and that's all for there. Um, Socii are fine, African forces are fine, and Numidian forces are fine too. No reinforcements, no political options, no various options there. Um, Optimates are actually down to 91 strength there, so obviously taking a big battering at the hands of the Pontic forces. So how are they going actually? Actually lost Athens again last turn, so Sulla was actually not doing that well, so which is interesting. So 
So okay, it's happy with us it means we can consolidate and build up our forces. Alrighty guys, so how's Italian at um, Italy going? So everything's pretty much fine over here. So moving these guys up here, still besieging these two um, areas, not really worried about moving. Just gonna leave these guys where they are. This one's now done. This um, commander is not active, so he's actually down back down to defensive stance, which is okay. Uh, I'm just gonna be patient with these turns, just wait until we can either the, um, assault them all until they sort of run out of supplies and they surrender. Over in Hispania, how are we going? Pretty good. So still got this force here. Um, this actually force isn't active, so I'm actually can't I'm just gonna leave them like they are, like that. That's fine, uh, and that's pretty much it. They're not really anywhere else, so Spain is going well. Over to Numidia. So what have we got here? This is our new army here. So what have we actually got? So we've got an army of twenty-three thousand men, nine hundred and seventy-eight um, firepower. We've got some phalanx formations here, so African heavy infantry, which are quite cool. Um, some cavalry as well, Numidian cavalry, three units, stacks of units of those, and some auxiliary units there, as well as a couple of supply. This is Herbus, or Herbus, um, our leader. Um, he is a 532 commander, so not a bad commander there. Just going to check out his attributes here. He's a, an African world leader, which means he actually can't leave the African theatre without suffering penalties. So that makes sense. Obviously, you wouldn't want to go and fight over in Greece or something, so... He's going to just going to stick around here. Um, also, is a cavalry man, so 10% combat bonus for all cavalry units in the stack. So, that's quite good. So we've got him sitting there. We've actually taking control of Hippo Regius as well, which is good. Um, I think what we're going to do is actually move you over to there, and move you guys um, over here into Serta um, down there. Um, actually, no, we're not. I think potentially it looks like there's no major army yet here. I'm thinking they may come next turn. Um, I'd guess, uh, obviously like the, the, the Numidian king is going to get his own army up and running. So I actually don't want to send these guys over here yet, um, and they may actually run into like a big full stack and we're not, not actually not be prepared for it. So we're just going to move basically into our cities and then we can actually see what we're up against next turn, then we can actually like coordinate and attack and maybe go into their next turn around, so that's what we may do. Alrighty, what we are going to do, alternatively maybe we should actually go for the capital quickly. I don't know, maybe we should do it. How's it going to take? It's going to take 10 days to get there for you. And how long for you? 12 days. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to make a beeline for the capital. See so if we actually take the capital quickly. We're going to turn this into a, put both these formations on a fence, um, offensive stance, which is good. So we'll see how that goes. Could be a disaster, but I think it's worth doing. Um, all righty, oh, that's pretty much all the moves we're going to do this turn, isn't it? There's not really anything else that we want to do. We've already set up these um, supply units there. Yep, Espania's fine. Um, the units in Epirus are fine too, so that's good. Done our replacements, done everything else, got a fair bit of money, all that kind of stuff, so next turn. Off we go, off we go to visit the next turn. See how we go this turn. See what happens. See what strife we can get ourselves into. Alrighty, nothing too much happening yet, which is good. Alrighty, big battle over here. We actually have won that, which is awesome. So, I actually had managed to get both of our forces over here before engaging this battle, so that's quite good. Um, so, up against a 39,000 army here, and the, the Heimsel is only a 222, so we definitely got better commanders. So, actually looking quite promising to actually get um, and take over Numidia, which would be quite cool. So, they've got, actually, we lost 1,900 men, they lost 2,400. Which was good. And yeah, so actually won that victory, which is nice. They've actually been forced to retreat now, which is cool. So we can now um, besiege Serta there, which would be cool. So we should see how that goes. So actually ended up being a good decision to actually um, move over and engage straight away. Otherwise, they would have got a lot more defensive bonuses probably than what they did. So that was cool. All right, so what have we got here? Running through the events. Um, inflicted 15 hits during Ariminum. So obviously doing a lot of hits here. So they actually sort of end up crumbling. Still not making any breaches over here, which is a bit disappointing, but that's fine. What else have we got? 
Um, 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 these guys have arrived here in this city. Uh, doesn't look like there's really anything here though. We actually are, are going to have to besiege it though because it is a level 2 fort. So we have to just be patient and do that. So that's fine. What else have we got? Popularis of Force arrived in Benonia. So we have to wait another turn to wait, wait for these to get um, their supply back. So that's fine. We'll move those back again. Numidian forces moved over here. Um, Marcus Marius Gredi... Gred Gratitious, oh god, I can't even pronounce that, has been killed. So who is that? That was our level 1 commander, wasn't it? Yeah, so we still got our level 2 guy, which is here, which is good. Um, we actually have our level 1, which has been killed, so... Anyway, that's fine. Um, cool, what else have we got? Constructed um, ballastays here, which is good. So besieging certain hours, that's level 2, 4. So, what else can we do? Destructed siege engines there. Um, Optimate sold prisoners. Murder of Flaccus. Consul Flaccus, both being arrogant and cruel, is hated by his own legions. His estrangement with the abulient legate Fimbria, a loyal Marian supporter, does nothing to make things worse. Fimbria convinces the troops to defect to him. Flaccus tries to flee. Caught hiding in a well, he's put to death by decapitation. Ouch, that sucks. His body will remain without burial, a crime for which the perpetrators would not be forgiven. Oh dear, so does that mean do we, do we still have control of them? We do. Alright, well it means we actually got a better commander now, which is not, you know, it's not necessarily amazing. Actually are losing supply as well, so bit of a problem there. Maybe we can move some naval units over there. I'm not really sure how supply and naval units actually works. Um alright, what we're gonna do is actually move these guys over here into Brundisium. It's gonna take 17 days. I wonder if we can actually move our African fleet over there as well. How long is that going to take? I don't really like making such big voyages because you get easily caught in storms. That can take 26 days. Are right, we going to do that? Um, maybe we can actually lend some assistance here into the, um, the siege at Apollonia. We actually can't move out here until we can actually get some military control. So that's what, what we're actually going to do. We're going to put this force onto um, offensive posture. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, actually get some military control of this province. Then hopefully that means we can actually move out and maybe get some supply and stuff going. Still no units up here, which is fine. And yep, so that's all the um, the events that we've got to go through. This unit's um, is fine down here. These guys are fine. I need to put these guys back onto offensive. Um, starting to lose a bit of supply again. So what we're going to do is just do the same thing. Actually take a few supply units out of this force um, and move them to Parisia and say enter the structure there. And then they'll, uh, you know, a couple of turns away, we can bring them back in full supply and resupply these units there. So that's fine. Not a problem. Um, yep, so that's good. Alright, what else have we got to do? So the auxiliaries and stuff up there. It's fine. How is Hispania going? Still this force here. This command is still not active, so we can't actually sort of fight them off, so that's okay. Not really worried about that. Lusitania is being very docile. It just works for me, but it's a little bit surprising. Um, cool, right? Replacements, how are we going here? Um, pretty much okay for replacements through there. We're going to get one unit of Roman cavalry. Popularis, Associates, fine. African forces going to get need some replacements for them. Going to get three units of line infantry, um, one of light, and that's it there. Um, what else? And a few units of Numidian, probably three units of Numidian cavalry there. Reinforcements, nothing. Politics, nothing. Various, nothing. Objectives, yeah, that's fine there as well. Cool. Alrighty, new turn, guys. Actually, going to double check the timing. What are you up to? Twenty-three minutes. All right, let's get, shoot, get through at least another turn, potentially two. Should be good. See what happens this time around in this turn. <clears throat> Rightio. We have a force down here still in Luceria. It's another couple of legions actually, which is interesting. I have to keep an eye on them. Hopefully, I don't think that would be any legions that um, 
Salah has landed across. Another battle here which we've won, although we did lose more men than they did, so that's interesting. Still couldn't co got control of the city though, so that's good. Cool, and that's all. So nothing, no major battles, no major dramas either, which is good. I'll run through the events in a minute, see how we go. Alright. Um, radio breach in Arimnum for one breach. Um, still, it's just level three fort though, so we need another two level breaches. So, us inflicting a lot of hits on them though, so hopefully doing a lot of damage. Alrighty, how are we going? Made one breach in Nola, it is a level two, so we do need one more um, breach before we can do anything. So that's fine. What else have we got? Besieging Surta, but achieved nothing. How are we going for supplies? Yeah, okay ish for the moment. I'm actually move one force back again, which is the stronger force. Should leave our Romans there and actually move this guy back here just to sort of get some supply. Should put you leave you back onto offensive. Um, how's the Romans guys going? Yeah, that's cool. Alright. Alrighty, what else have we got? Upkeep. Um, Roman force arrived in Perugia, which is our Supply wagons there. These ones in Benonia should have, yep, so they actually got the supply back. We're going to send them back in and merge them up there, which is good. Um, our fleets have arrived in um, in Brundisium there, so we've got some 145 ships there, which is good. How's this force going for supplies? It's going to lack a little bit in supplies, which is a bit of a problem. Well, we do actually don't have, actually we do have actually control of this province now. We still actually can't move out of there, which is a bit of an issue. Um, we actually do have storms here either, so we actually can't send our fleets out, otherwise they're actually going to get hammered, so. Uh, I'm actually lacking supplies here, lacking a bit, I've got a bit of a problem here, guys. I'm not really sure what we can do. We actually can't assault the force, because this, we can't, you know, can we, until we make breaches in here, we can't actually, I guess we can't, it's a level one fort, alright, well, should have done this ages ago, honestly. Um, I've got to pay more attention to things, so should we go into assault this fort, because we actually need a harbour to actually get some supplies in, otherwise we're going to be in trouble, so. Should have done that ages ago, so we're just going to assault that one. Hopefully we can take that um, fort quite quickly, or take the city quite quickly, which would be good. What else have we got? Um, battle in Olosipo, which is fine. Constructed some siege engines. Pontix raised more money. Poor sanitation in our largest stack. So we lose um, 25 cohesion and 10 health as well. So it's just sort of a random event that we lose a bunch of um, replacements and stuff here. So that's not the end of the world. So we'll just have to be, you know, just the way it is, unfortunately. And yep, so that's all the events we've got to worry about. A few more ship replacements, which is good. So we do have two legions down here, so keep an eye on them. I'm not really sure where those, they've actually come from. But yeah, we should be fine. We've got three legions here, so push comes to shove, I think we're still going to win. So we've got obviously got our big stacks up here as well, so we could actually take one of these away. Could take one of these away if you could have basically got an extra one here. We've got two like sort of sieging and then just like an extra one sitting around. So we could take one away and actually move them down here if we wanted to. Pretty sure. I'd rather leave them here for the moment. Just do it, get, hopefully get the siege going a little bit quicker. Alrighty, replacements. How are we going? Still going okay for most of these things. A lot of ones um, line infantry hit still to go, but we do have quite a few replacements there. So I'm just going to leave that for the moment. Um, it's fine there. Socia is fine. African forces are fine. And cavalry is fine, so that's all good. Nothing, no decisions we want to take, which is awesome. Objectives, um, yep, that's good. So Sala's actually gotten their absolute backsides handed to them, looks like, by the Pontic. So 198,000 casualties compared to 117 there. I assume a lot of that is probably obviously us, because we've actually had 93,000 casualties as well. So we're actually down to 89 combat strength, so we're actually doing better than what I thought we would do. How is Sala going over here? Definitely looks like he's starting to make a little bit more progress. He's actually sort of cut these areas off here. Looks like a pretty decent sized force here. Um, looks like he's starting, looks like the Optimates are starting to make a little bit more progress through there. So, interesting to see how we go. Um, don't really make any more movements in terms of our forces and stuff. We don't, can't really do anything else. They haven't really got a whole lot of money. Don't want to make any decisions. So, we're actually going to jump into a new turn. There we go. Let the turn load. <clears throat> and see how we go this turn. Still cruising along, lots of victory points, pretty decent national morale, fair, you know, fairly good number of engagement points. I haven't got a whole lot of money, but that's okay, we don't really need anything, can't really recruit anything yet either, so, like any more forces, so, that's fine, 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 fine. 
Just keep going with the flow. All right, we've assaulted this force, a uh, fort of the city, and um, we only lost 246 men, they lost 5,400, so that's good. So we're actually now taking the city, which means hopefully we've got a supply line um, coming in, although the harvey's actually blocked, so that's interesting. I may have to do something about that. Apart from that, it looks like there's no major battles anywhere else, so that is quite good. Cool. Alrighty, um, made a breach in a remnant for two breaches. We need one more before we can actually assault the fort. Um, we've flicked, flicked a bunch of hits on them though in, in both sieges here, so hopefully getting their numbers down, all that kind of stuff, so that'd be good. Um, units in Nola actually managed to repair their breach, so given we've actually got winter down here, we may actually move our force out, or maybe we may, potentially may leave them there. I'm not really sure, we may just may actually put them back down to defensive stance um, and just leave them there for the moment. Um, yep, yeah, right. What else have we got? Apollonia. Yeah, that's fine. Five hits to the siege um, during the siege of Serta, and going okay in terms of supply. May actually move both these units out. And where's our best supply spot? So it's eleven and twenty-three. So I should move both these um, supply units out and move them over to Hippo Regius, and then get them into the structure. So that should get a bunch of extra supply back there. Alrighty, what else have we got here? Um, thank you, our victory got some a bunch of prisoners, which is good. Gain control of Apollonia. What we are actually going to do is actually move our fleet out into here. Um, actually, it doesn't show it's being blockaded anymore, so that's good. So actually, maybe we won't do that. We don't need to do that anymore. Um, yep, just stay in there where you are. Cool. So hopefully it means we can actually get some supply into the city now. So we've got nine level supply. And move this force back down to defend stance. Keep an eye on these um, units, these things at the moment. We've still got supply for one more turn. If we don't have any supply next turn, we may have to do something in terms of getting sending them from ships, ships over, or potentially, or something like that. So maybe we should send our ships over anyway into this port. Maybe that will give them some extra supply because we actually do have a fair bit of extra supply. I'm not really quite sure how it works in terms of naval supply. I would have thought, given we've actually got like an open port, um, they should have supply through there now. All right, we'll do that. Um, see what happens there. What else have we got in terms of messages? Arrived there, blah, blah, blah. A few extra replacements. Epidemics in Italia. Epidemics, we are stuck our forces in Italia, so we lose some cohesion and stuff. Roman civilization progress in Italia, so we get um, extra, extra loyalty and sort of um, supply and income benefits. The same with Africa, so that's good. Um, extra light ship replacement. Light ship replacements. Ephesus Revolt. So the Optimates now have control of that city. Um, revolt in Colchis, uh, which is over here, which is Barbarians. So it looks like Pontus actually loses that, um, loses all that area there. So that's not a good thing for them. And yeah. So how are we going in Greece? How is Sulla going in Greece anyway? Yeah, okay, still hasn't got back of Athens, so he does have, does have control of Thessalonica now. And still got this decent sized army over here actually besieging their capital. Because that is their capital there, isn't it? No, oh, that is there. That, yeah, Dyrrhachium, that's their capital, yep. Alrighty, so they're doing okay, but not amazingly. Not really going to move any units through here, I don't really see any point doing it yet. I'm just going to double check the time, how we're going. 33 minutes, so actually, let me put a uh, cut in the episode here, guys. Um, Nick, we'll come back next time and process the turn. Um, but for now, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the series. Hope you'll stick around. And as always, if you haven't done so already, it would be absolutely incredible if you could subscribe to the channel and like the video as well. So that would be enormously, enormously appreciated if you could do that. Hope you've all had a good day and I'll see you all for the next episode.